Please welcome Dr. William Davis. It's another packed house for Dr. William Davis. He's the author of the best-selling book, Wheat Belly, and he's here with a blunt message. Wheat is killing us. Multiple sclerosis, type 1 diabetes in children, type 2 diabetes. 70 to 80 percent of all diseases, he argues, are linked to eating wheat, from cancer to schizophrenia. He says wheat's killed more people than all wars combined. Yes, you know, we can't be real precise in the numbers, but think of it. How much diabetes, obesity, autoimmune disease, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's, uh, I could go on. We're talking about hundreds of millions of people or more over the years. The Fifth Estate consulted dozens of health care experts to see if Dr. Davis has science on his side when he makes claims like the wheat protein gluten is linked to cancer. I've never seen any evidence of that. I mean, uh, there's four new scientific papers that come out every single minute of every day, 365 days a year. You know, how, how is it that they miss the connection between gluten and breast cancer? Then there's Dr. Davis's claim wheat is linked to schizophrenia. Turns out it's based on one study done in 1966. No other study since has ever made that definitive link. Researchers at the University of Saskatchewan are looking into Dr. Davis's claim that proteins in wheat have been modified to create a dangerous strain he calls frankenwheat. 37 strains of wheat grown since the 1800s were tested. The protein structure? Well, according to geneticists, it's virtually unchanged. Dr. Davis stands by his astounding claims. He says it's the experts who've got it wrong when they say wheat is healthy for us. There, they misinterpreted the data to begin with. I believe they're the ones who've not looked at all the evidence. Despite what scientists say, people are abandoning wheat in droves. More than half a Canadian say they're cutting down on grains like wheat, while bread and cereal sales plummet all across North America. Casualties in the war on wheat. Mark Kelly, CBC News, Toronto.